crime committed here will see one confined to jail. I've heard that jailers are paid a pittance, despite the hardships of their work. Then we'd best keep some coin on hand to ease our potential warders' suffering and make them an ally to our cause. Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You have lost sight of your path, but I can point the way. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I have seen your path. May these words guide you true. You've my gratitude. Tis lovely to see you. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Still waiting on that report. Oh. Do you know how long you'll be? You are the Arisen, yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me! you move along. Should one of the other guards spy you, I will be forced to play my part. Pray be cautious, Your Majesty. I wish the minister would be more careful. He takes the sentinel posted outside his chambers with him everywhere. There are times when no one stands in watch here at all. What business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour? I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. 
M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently. Surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, Your Grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. Well, well. Yours isn't a face I'm accustomed to seeing around the palace. How did you get in here? Oi! Who goes there? Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Wilhelmina. Mm-hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though, we had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But might I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Ah, uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. Hmm. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. I don't appreciate having my motives questioned. I did as I saw fit. Need I say more? Still, you are welcome to come calling, should the fancy take you, and should you have the gold for it. The masquerade is already underway, sir. Twill be a long night. Longer still for those of us on guard. Not far 
from your station, are you not? I was bored out my skull guarding the palace. At least here I can listen to some courtly music. Makes the hours go by that much quicker. See? You Have you heard? There's to be more restrictions on goods traded with Batar. Apparently, even privately owned items will come to be Is there nary a chance to make a fresh acquaintance? posted in front of the passage yesterday, aye? Next time, don't leave all in front we'll of the door. I had a hell of a time reaching the damn thing open. Another fancy party Word. hosted he by the So, tell me more of this ox cart. Best no no As I hear it, it turned from oh, a house to a Last, I hear the coronation is to be held anon. Good thing, too. I long to see the back of this crooked age of proxies. Of course, the matter of attendance is always a contentious one, particularly concerning the special recommendations. You see, commoners who perform meritorious deeds or who prove their upstanding character may be granted invitations. It beggars belief that layfolk, with nearly a shred of decorum, should be allowed to attend such an august occasion. For instance, if you, by some miracle, were to be recommended, I should thank you to know your place. If you've naught to say, I'd best be going. Everyone who dances with me complains of sore feet.
Mother Ale can't make my dancing any worse. Another ale can't make my dancing any Methinks I'll have a rest. My feet ache from dancing. Gathered here are naught but nameless nobles. It would be uncouth to inquire after another's identity. Smiles are the finest reward I could ask for. If you've naught to say, I'd best be going. Always the same dismal affair, if you are. I'd see you stay out. No time for sleep. Everyone who dances with me complains of. of which they whispered. Sometimes I wonder if I'd be better off a hermit. I find it liberating to hide my face for a time. This revelry in war's wake, it isn't right.
Well now, you're... What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scout the area. I'll scout all the people. In here. Open up! Open this door right now! We're coming in! Out of here! You're dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and. Preposterous! I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive the intrusion. And what business have you here? In the noble's playground. Hmm? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? Aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check, lest you forget these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. And we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. Come see me in my bordelry, when e'er you're so inclined. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. Carried on 
happiness full scope. What was it I had planned for the morrow? I'm not sure what's back. At last, tis a relief to be at your side again, Master. Do take care not to stray so far next time. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. This ladder is here for a reason. Ah, excellent find. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. I know this sigil well. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Batal, a land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It reads, True to our word, we offer you the power of the Godsway. Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, to be certain. Though, tis clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermund and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to see our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it. And ere it slips my mind, pray. Take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Kratos. Well, there's a name to... There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet, then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes even were he to be removed. I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. So, the false sovereign, Queen Regent Deesa, and this Phasers fellow are all working together. Quite the sordid trio, eh? That's odd. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry.
Shall we get some rest then? <laughs> 